Hi right, guys, and here we have it. The thing I've been working three years to make, six times a charm, like I said. We have uh, a lot What's up guys? I'm Tristan here from Upscale Exotics. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I know I'm having a wonderful day. I just, uh, I'm a big boxing fan. I just watched uh, Tyson Fury knock out Deontay Wilder. Let's go Gypsy King, you're a beast. Um, so for today's video, we got a really cool video. Uh, we have a project that I've been working on for a while now. Nothing too crazy, but it's just a combo I've been wanting to hit for a while. This specific combo, I've been wanting to hit it for a really long time. And you know, it's been three years and two tries, two, two pairings every single year. So six tries total, right? And uh, six times a charm. We hit something pretty freaking cool and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's show you guys what we got. All right, sweet. So like I said, I had two tries every single year. I had uh, the same female, pretty much. The female was a champagne. Uh, double Het, Lavender, uh, Albino, and Exanthic, VPI Exanthic. Um, so I had two of those and I bred the same male to both of those each year. Um, so I'm actually, I'm actually not going to be looking at just one clutch. We're going to be looking at two clutches today. And it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be kind of showing you everything. I'm going to build up to it, right? I'm going to show you guys the base genes. And from there, move on to the final product. All right, so first we're going to start off by showing you guys um, the uh, non-recessive genes that we're working with. And... Uh, Pretty much the main two things that we're working with is champagne and pinstripe. Let me show you guys each of these guys individually. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of these before. This right here is just a beautiful example of a champagne. And then over here, we're working with just a pinstripe. Again, I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of these guys before. All right, and now from here, let's show you guys the recessive gene we're working with. All right, here we go, and this is our recessive gene. If you can see it, uh, right away you already know what it is. This is a lavender albino. Check it out, the lavenders, uh, the lavender colors on this, uh, this girl are pretty sweet. Hopefully those come out on camera. But just an awesome example of a lavender albino. And now, Let's start looking at the combos. All right, so the first combo we're gonna be looking at is the combination of the first two incomplete dominant genes. So we're not looking at recessives right now, so no albino. So this right here is obviously a champagne uh, pinstripe, uh, also known as a champagne. Bring this guy up to the camera. You can see what the pinstripe does to the champagne. They're both really, really, um, how can I say, uh, I guess dominant genes in the sense of they do a lot, right? So they really kind of take over whatever they, they're put into. They kind of take over and that's usually all you see. So it's really interesting, the champagne combination, the champagne pinstripe, where you combine two genes that again are so dominant uh, in, in the sense of they, they take over almost every combination. So when you see this, obviously you can kind of see in this pairing, the champagne is clearly winning, but, but the uh, pinstripe does dull out Oh, we see right here in the dorsal stripe that we don't see in the, uh, in the champagnes. Next, let's start getting into some of the recessive combos. All right, so the first combo we're going to be looking at with the recessive genes is this guy right here. This is a lavender albino pinstripe. Check this girl out. She is awesome. Just a really, really beautiful animal. Sweet. So now let's take a look at another lavender albino combination. All right, so our last two combos are actually a little bit in shed, but um, they're just starting to go in, so they still look pretty good. Let me show you guys what we got. So this one right here is our lavender albino champagne. And I hadn't seen one of these guys in person. So uh, when I cut the egg and I saw it, I was blown away. Obviously the colors are usually a lot uh, brighter, but they're st they still look amazing. And, and uh, let me just show you guys what we got right here. Look at that. Just a beautiful animal. Again, you can see the shim, the champagne, I mean, uh, right there. The, the, these are pretty typical. These circles are pretty typical in the champagne gene, uh, obviously. Just a beautiful animal overall. All right. And the very last... Oh. All right, guys. And here we have it. The thing I've been working three years to make, six times a charm, like I said. We have... Uh, a lavender albino champagne pinstripe. I couldn't be happier with this guy. Um, again, three years in the making. 
Um, it's not a crazy combo, uh, but I just had a vision of what it would look like in my head. And again, I have been searching to see what this would look like for a while now. I looked again on Morph Market before making this video and one has still not been posted. Um, so I'm not saying it's a world's first. It could be a world's first. I feel like everyone all the time is like, oh, I got a world's first making like, like a huge deal. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to make some pretty cool snakes. Um, but let me uh, show you guys what we got here. Again, this is a lavender albino champagne pinstripe. Look how beautiful. Again, you can tell it's pretty deep in shade. You can see its eyes right there. But I'm telling you guys, I'll post pictures uh, at the end of this video of what this guy looks like uh, out of shed. And it's just the brightest orange you've ever seen. Just such a beautiful animal. Take a look at that. So there we have it, guys. We finally made it after three years, six tries, six times a charm. Um, I couldn't be happy with this guy. Again, not a crazy combo. Um, but it was just, I had a picture in my head of what this would look like and this kind of blew, uh, my expectations at the same time, kind of doing what I expected it would do, right? Just have a, um, a really either orange or yellow snake and, uh, I'll post pictures of this guy on my Instagram and, and hopefully at the end of this video, if he sheds before, uh, this is edited and stuff. Uh, but this guy out of shed is just bright orange. Obviously he looks really yellow and that was what I was kind of worried about. I don't know if how, how, how yellow or how orange he was going to be. And he's definitely, um, pretty orange, which is kind of what I, what I was hoping for. And uh, again, I couldn't be happy with this guy. He's actually going to be replacing um, his dad. The pairing was a pinstripe double head uh, lavender snow. And the mom was a champagne um, head lavender. So again, this guy's possible head exanthic. If I want to work in some exanthic in there, I could. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys have been so awesome with all the support. Again, please keep commenting, liking, subscribing. Uh, you guys are awesome. Love you guys so much. Take care.